do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a ULaunch ELF to your FreeMic Boot memory screen if you don't have it installed already. Maybe someone created a memory card for you, the FreeMic Boot, and they forgot to put it on and you're frustrated because you don't have the ULaunch ELF originally here, like I do in my menu here, to upgrade it or to install it. So what do you do? Well, first, let's go ahead and take a look at my PS2. So I have a USB thumb drive that has the latest version of free, um, that has the ULaunch ELF version 4.42B, see the more info section, and I have no disk and I'm running off the FreeMic Boot memory card, which I created myself. So let's go down to Freeman Boot Configurator and press X. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a shortcut key to boot off the USB thumb drive to access the ULaunch ELF. So what does that even mean? Okay, so we go to Configure E1 Launch Keys and press Circle. And then I already did this before, but let's do it again for educational purposes. So press Circle on the triangle. You can pick any other button that you want, but let's press um, Circle on triangle. Go down to Mass, press Circle. Go down to your boot.elf. So I have a boot.elf that I put in my USB thumb drive. So navigate to it and then press circle on there. Now we're good to go. Scroll all the way down to return. Press circle. Say save config to MC0. That's fine. Press circle and you're good to go. So what's going to happen is when I reboot the PS2, I want you to hold down the triangle key, triangle key the whole time. Let's do this. So I hold down the triangle key. I already have this done in a different video about the E1 keys, launch keys, but here it is again just in case you didn't watch that video. So what happens is that it automatically boots into ULaunch ELF from the USB thumb drive. How do I know? Because it says mass launch ELF.cnf. Sweet. So what you do is press circle. This is the file browser. Go down to mass, press circle. Go down to boot.elf, press R1. Press circle on copy, top right hand corner. Go up, go up to MC0, press circle. Go all the way down to your boot folder, press circle. And then select the uh, existing boot.elf or you don't have it. Just select any of the files here. Press R1. And then go down and say MC paste in the right hand corner. And it's going to overwrite or install it to your memory card. Come on. And then we'll be good to go. So what is the next step after this? Well, you, what you want to do is, of course, um, create a shortcut key. So how do you do that? So let's go ahead and restart the PS2. Okay, so we're going to restart the PS2. Now I'll show you real quickly how to make a shortcut to that ULaunch ELF. Okay, go down to Freeman Boot Configurator, press X. Press X or a circle, that's fine. So what we're going to do is go down to Configure e -launch, launch Keys. And then go down to, um, oh, no, we don't want to do this, sorry. Go down to Configure OSD Sys Options. And then go to over here. This is your menu structure. So like, for example, let's go ahead and make a new item here. And I'll call this name, I'll call it um, UL1 as a test. Okay, but you guys can call it whatever you want because I already have an existing ULaunch ELF. Press OK, go to path 1, go to MC0, go down to your boot folder, select the boot.elf. So it looks just like that. Press return, go back to return, um, say config to MC0, that's fine, and PS2 browser restart. So what's going to happen is now at the bottom of my FreeMic boot list, I want to have an entry and the name is going to be UL1. Don't trust me? Fine. Let's go to the bottom and I'll show you. UL1. So if I press X, what's going to happen? It's going to launch the ULaunch ELF. And there it is. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So that's how you're going to be the PS2 boss or the PS2 king or the PS2 queen for today. If you like this type of video, please like, favorite, and subscribe so that hopefully one day we can get the front page of YouTube. Otherwise, if you've got any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.